PPN guns coming out. This is an absolute beast. That's welded, nice and plumb. What's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel. Paul's for Paul Jamie Constructions back again. We've got another steel video today, so we're just getting set up. The skip came yesterday. Turned up mob handy, we got the scaff balls and the props. So let's take you inside and we'll show you what we're doing. Right guys, so this wall's coming down. It only goes from the ground floor up to the first floor. So it's supporting the ceiling joists and the floor joists from above. So all we really need to do is support the joists from below on both sides and then that wall can safely come down. Right, we're all set, we're all propped, we're all ready to go. I've got the breaker ready, I've got the fan set up. That's a 12 inch fan. Obviously, trying to minimize the dust best we can. We've got some sheets in the kitchen. Um, and that's it, yeah, so let's start slapping it down. It's all fun and games, isn't it, eh? So, found the doorway. An old doorway, so that's a bit of a uh, touch. But, there's an RSJ adjacent, which we assumed was bearing on that wall, which it is. But it's coming out here, isn't it? Which is not good. Wall is down. We've uh, done the pocket, ready to take the steel. We're going to sink this one flush as well, so it's got a nice detail on it. Don't have that bulkhead. That's the RSJ from the adjacent room. That is, needs to be cut off flush. And I've got a meeting with the building inspector tomorrow to have a chat about this as well, because we need to be on a foundation. So hopefully he's going to let us put our post on that on a pad stone. And that's going to save a lot of ag and a lot of time. What's happening guys? Back to Whitham today. Um, tomorrow the steels are being installed. They're ready today for collection this afternoon after 2 o'clock. Steve the steel man's booked in ready to go for tomorrow. So it'll be me and Steve, possibly Sean. Uh, Steve's going to fab it on site. So today I need to cast the padstone in situ onto the brick wall that's going to take the uh, the post, which has got a base plate which is going to have to fix into it. So what I need to do is get it on today so it's got a chance to dry for tomorrow. So we've only got one visit tomorrow, so that would be good. tools for the job, skill saw, so I'm going to make a box out of this leftover kitchen stuff, it's nice and smooth, so basically on the engineer's details he wants a 300 mil by 100 mil wide by 150 deep padstone, so nice strong mix, I've got some ballast and some cement, I've got my screw gun, impact driver, 
I'll make my box, make sure the internal measurements are what you need. I'll probably have to chip some of the floor out inside to make the box fit because it's got a screed on there. So yeah, I'll chip that away, set that in, pour it in, vibrate it, get the air bubbles out. Uh, and that's it for today really. window So that's it for today. I'll have a tidy up and I'll update you in the morning, let you know how we got on. Morning guys, I'm just at ISG uh, steel stockholders. Ordered the steels, paid for, they're ready to go. Um, I've got to wait outside here and they're gonna bring them out on the forklift, hopefully get loaded up. And then I'll head on to Whitham. So, yesterday I went to PGRs and picked up 6x2 timbers uh, for timber blocking to take the joists. Been to screw fix this morning, got the hangers, got the PP, uh, PPN gun, got some new nails, a box of nails for it yesterday. I've got the table saw on as well because I don't know if I need to increase the width for the steel to suit the joist. I couldn't remember what the measurement was. It was either 110 mil or 130. So I've got 38 mil CLS oversized and then I'll just run it through on the uh, table saw if needed. I can also run the six by two down as well because you want it nice and tight in the web. Check this gaff out. That's a few grand's worth, isn't it, eh? How 
we doing guys? I'm back over Whitham today. Me and Steve are here fitting the RSJs. Now, we need to, we're gonna sink the RSJ in between the floor joists and then install hangers, jiffy hangers with some twist nails. So what we need to do is put some timber blocking in the web of the steel. So we've measured the gap that we need it. Uh, let me get my tape. So basically, we've got a 102, 178, yeah? So we're gonna put six per two in the web because we've got 160 mil. So I've got some six per two, both sides. Steve's gonna drill some holes in it and then we'll coach bolt it through and then uh, cut, the, uh, cut the bolt off nice and flush. I need to bring that out 10 mil either side so I need to put a packer behind it. So I've got the table saw set up and I've got some CLS and I'm just gonna rip that down to 10 mil and then we'll put one on the top, one on the bottom and then uh, that'll give us the width that we need.
PPM guns coming out, this is an absolute piece. Probably the best tool purchase in the last few years. Let's take a little look, we are done. So, pad stones all set in nice and solid, dry packed underneath, so we'll leave this prop in until tomorrow. Hangers are all on, we twist nails. Don't need any noggins when you're using hangers. We've got a double there, so I should shoot out and get a double hanger for that. Post is on. That's welded, nice and plumb, both ways. Welded to a base plate as per the spec by the engineer. And we've got two fixings fixed onto a concrete pre-stressed pad, which I poured yesterday. So I may edit this video with the kitchen done and dusted, or I may just leave it as this. So in case I don't, show you the rest of it. Take care, I'll see you on the next one.